show you Mr. Power. Come here. That's me. You happen to be an author, do you? Yeah, I do. Why'd you ask? I thought I recognised that name. I, I loved your book. <laughs> Thanks. I'm glad you liked it. So are you working on a new book? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to, but uh, I'm struggling with writer's block. I've got enough to worry about. If it's anything like your last, it'll, it'll be great. Thanks. Let's hope so. Yeah. Good luck with the writing. <laughs> well, thank you. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. No, thank you. I won't be here long. So what brings you to my office today? I'm Emily Morning Scribe. Why does that name sound familiar? My mother is, I'm, I'm sorry, she was Elizabeth Morning Scribe. The owner of Morning Scribe Publishing. That's correct. Your family pretty much runs the city. Who would even consider coming after you? Well, with my mother's recent passing, the family fortune, along with the business, was supposed to be split between me and my brother. Right, and I'm guessing it wasn't. That's right. Uh, the money was split between us, but the business was given to me. So your brother got a fortune, but still wants you gone? With me gone, he'd be president of the company and have my half of the fortune. And so we'd have everything with you gone? So why have you come to me? If you can find out what he's planning and stop it, I'll pay you triple your rate. How do you know I'm going to take the job? You will. Today it has been announced that the latest book by the famous author Stephen Clare has been delayed yet again. Fans of author's work had originally been expecting the announcement of his book to release later this year. I'm starting to think he isn't even writing a book. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised. Fans expect a lot from his next title. We are months away from... Hello again. Hi, how are you? Yeah, it's good. How's the writing going? Yeah, not too bad. I finally got a concert down next year. Oh, really? Do you reckon you can give me a sneak peek? Oh, I don't think so. I might go online and spoil it for everyone. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. You can trust me. Just give me a sec. Hello? No, I can't tell that, mate. I need to work on my book. No, mate, look, the publishers were expected a draft a while ago. I can't. I'm sorry. Sorry, bye. I'm sorry about that. No worries. Anything important? Not really. It's just my friend who's just asking if I wanted to go for a drink tonight, that's all. Mm, you're not going then? No, I don't think so. I was just going to stay in and work on my book, you know. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, it could do you some good to get away, you know, so you didn't burn out. How about you come with me? Really? Yeah, if you want to. Yeah, I'd love to. I'd get off work at like six, so I'll come around about eight. Yeah, perfect. See you then. <laughs> okay, see you then. Yeah, bye. <laughs> given any thought to my proposal. I told you I'm not selling the company. I strongly advise you to reconsider. If you do change your mind, everything you need is in here. You should decide soon. That offer only stands for a week. And if you do decide to keep the company, people in those positions of power tend to make quite a few enemies. Emily! 
shouldn't be walking around here all by yourself. And you should try and do your job without getting caught. I've managed to get to you without you noticing. You've been following me since I left. I noticed you ages ago. Well, I'm just following your instructions. So why do you want me here? That was my brother. He gave me a final offer for the company. Okay, what was the offer? It's a pretty decent offer. Money isn't the issue here. So why don't you just accept? You wouldn't have to worry and you could live the rest of your life out comfortably. I didn't hire you to advise me on business deals. I hired you to find out what my brother has planned. So what did he say? He gave me a week to accept his offer, otherwise I'll have a target on my head. Well, I guess I've got a deadline now. Seems that way. I'll go look around his office tomorrow and see what I can find. But I'll see you soon. Okay. Get some rest. You're going to be busy. See you. So today it's been announced that Stephen Clare's new book has been delayed yet again. The publisher has stated it's due to problems what? of printing. And have asked for it to be pushed back again. It's because of printing. Well, there's talks of a film being worked on. How are they going to make a film if there's no book to go on? Yeah, so I just turned on the news to see that my release date's being pushed back. Wait, hold on a minute. A film? A film? I haven't even finished writing the book yet. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, okay, but what about... Hello? Hi, it's Stephen. Just checking in, how's things? It's all good. I'm just enjoying my day off work. How's the book going? Oh, um, not too good. I've uh, been struggling at the moment, trying to focus. I've uh, just been putting it off all day. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. Uh, if you want a break, I'm, a, I'm around all day. Well, I was wondering if you're free. Maybe I could take you out for some lunch, see if I can get us a free meal. <laughs> <laughs> You've got no chance. Uh, meet at the bar in like half an hour. Yeah, perfect. Well, I'll see you then. See ya, bye. We are getting closer to the release of Stephen Clare's new book. It's now only a month away. We still don't know much, but we can now confirm that the main character is going to be a private investigator called David Power. So, you still seen that girl then? What's her name? Uh, Emma? No, it's Emily. Yeah, uh, what's up with her? Well, yeah, it's going well, you know, uh, been seeing each other for the past couple of weeks and she seems to like me. Oh, so you're dating then? Well, I haven't asked her yet. She's away with some friends for a few weeks, so I was planning on asking her when she gets back. Uh, so what are you going to do while you wait for her to get back? <laughs> I'm going to work on my book. Still working on that? Well, yeah, I've got to give it into the publishers in three weeks. So I guess you aren't going to be coming out for a while? No. Nope. <laughs> well, don't worry. When it's all done with, we'll be out all the time, don't worry. <laughs> right, I've got to go, I need to keep writing. Bye-bye. Right, so I've been uh, looking over your case file and this is what I've got so far. Glad to see you so organised. Well, I take pride in my work. So what have you found out? Well, since the death of your mother, your brother's been getting quite close. You see this man, he's uh, part of a mob, one of the uh, biggest mobs in the city to be specific. Why's my brother getting involved with the mob? Well, this mob, they run half the city. And with your publishing empire, it would give them a greater influence throughout the city. Not to mention that your factory will make a great base of operations. So my brother's working with the mob to take me out? Well, my guess is, is that he's got a secret that they know about. Oh, I should mention he's asked to meet with me next week. Next week? Same place as last time. And did he say why? He said he wanted to discuss his offer. Well, he did say he uh, gave you a week, so my guess is this is your last chance to accept. I thought so too. Do you think I should go? I could just leave the city. Well, now the mob are involved, they probably won't let you. So then what? I've got a few contacts in the police. We'll come up with a plan, but for now just try and stay safe. I'll stay at mine, but you need to come up with a plan fast. I will. I'll, I'll see you soon. How was your trip? That's great, yeah. I can't wait to tell you all about it. Yeah, do you fancy coming inside for a drink? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So, how's the book going? Haven't you got to send it over soon? 
yeah, yeah, I've got to send it in in a few days, but you know, it's just the ending. It's just giving me a little bit of trouble. What do you mean? Well, I just don't know how to end it. it needs a twist. After this, I could maybe take a look. Yeah, sure. Um, look, I wanted to ask you something. Yeah. Uh, well, I've really enjoyed the past few weeks and I was just wondering, you know, I don't know, maybe you wanted to be something more than just friends. I never really saw you that way. I considered it when we first went out, but I just... I think we're better as friends. Well, it's okay, I just, uh, I should, just thought... I should go, I've got some stuff to do tomorrow. I'll call you sometime. Oh, okay. Hello? Hi. Uh, Emily, I've got a plan for tomorrow night. Go to the meeting as planned, and I'll be waiting outside. And when he enters, when he enters, I'll go round the back through the kitchen. And um, um, what if somebody sees you? They won't. There's only one kitchen staff on, and you'll be on a smoke break. Uh, okay, so then what? Well, if he tries to make a move, I'll be there to stop him. What if he doesn't? Well, you'll be recording the entire conversation anyway. If he says anything incriminating, that I'll pick it up. Okay, I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. Stephen, you guys are just on it. Are you alright, mate? Here we go, you've seen the ghost. Yeah, mate, fine. Fine, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> 